Hey guys, so um, this is a different type of video. I'm going to be talking about my personal experience with cancer. Um, February, I keep saying February, I don't know. Something must have happened to me in February, but I don't remember. April the 8th, I was diagnosed with cervical cancer. Um, came as a complete shock. Um, I was definitely devastated and, you know, feeling all the feels that anyone would feel when you hear the word cancer. Um, so just a little background story. Um, I had got the Mirena in February of 2019. By December of 2019, I had been bleeding for like three months straight. The end of 2019. Um, I only remember because we went on a Disney cruise and... I wasn't miserable, but I wasn't able to, like, really have fun, have fun, because sis was bleeding. Um, so, fast forward. I don't know what's wrong with my eye, y'all. Please forgive me. Fast forward to um, 20, 2021. Um, I had been going back and forth to the doctors for bleeding after intercourse and, um, like, um, bleeding in between periods so nothing came about with that beginning of 2022 went to the doctors january you know they're fine whatever um my husband decided to press the issue and press me out about you know just the ongoing bleeding so i finally started going to the doctors at the end of january beginning of february and i swear to y'all i was going like once, sometimes twice a week. Like, at this point, I feel like I lived at the damn doctor's office. So, um, I went, I got my Mirena out March 17th. When I got my Mirena out March 17th, um, I had bled, like, a lot. Like, to the point where they had to use silver nitrate to stop the bleeding. Um, my doctor called me back. I think it was either that day or the next day and she was like I can't get you off my mind like I know you're not due for a pap until June July but I want to do it as soon as possible and I'm like okay cool um you just let me know when your next available date is and I'll come March 22nd March 22nd comes I get the pap um a couple days later it comes back I have um it's an abnormal pap and I have something called HSIL. Basically, it's a cancer cells. So she calls me back. She tells me that. And she is like, um, we want to schedule you for a biopsy. Uh, no, colposcopy. I don't know how to say it. It's a, some type of biopsy. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know, again, let me know when you need to do it and I'll make myself available. So she says, um, April 5th. I think that was a Monday. So April 5th, all right, cool, no problem. I go on April 5th, they take, um, with that they take and they put like um, vinegar on your cervix and it's kind of acts like peroxide. So if there's anything that is alarming, it'll fizz and turn white. So it did that in four different spots. I remember her time, it was five o'clock, seven o'clock, and I can't remember the other two times. I remember 5 o'clock and 7 o'clock. She takes samples of my cervix. Painful. Like, painful. So, um, she takes samples of my cervix or whatever. And she's like, um, we'll probably, you know, call you back um, April 20th. I'm like, all right, cool. So, I'll go out. i schedule my appointment for April 20th. Uh-uh. Um... April 8th, I was down at my house, had just pulled into the driveway, and I got a call from the doctor's office. And the lady's like, um, we just want to check on the bleeding from the procedure. And I'm like, yeah, I'm still bleeding. Um, you know, some of the whatever they put on me to kind of help with the bleeding has come out. But, you know, um, the pain level is going down. And she's like, okay, well, we just want to have you come back in so we can check on it. And I'm like, all right, cool. This was at 10 o'clock. My appointment was, was like at 12 o'clock. 
12 or 12 30. So I go and I get checked in and the RN is like, yeah, so you're here to talk about some results. And I'm like, no, um, they're just checking off some bleeding from a procedure. She's like, okay, well, the doctor would be in. The doctor comes in and she's asking me all these questions like about hepatitis C, hepatitis B, HIV AIDS. And I'm like, I just got blood work done. I ain't got none of that. So she's like, well, do you have any histories? And I'm like, no. So then she's like, okay. She pulls out the folder and she's like, well, I'm sorry to tell you that you have cervical cancer. Um, at that point, I just stopped listening to her. So she tells me that. And then um, she's like, we've already scheduled your appointment. You're going to go see your oncologist, um, Dr. Ebony Hoskins, on April 21st. What? So y'all already booked my appointment before I even came here. So I'm like, okay, is this serious? Like, I feel like everything was rushed. So from March 17th to April 8th, like everything just happened too quick for me to like really register what was going on. So then, you know, she tells me and I'm like, okay, but well, what are my options from her point of view? Because clearly she's not. Um, she doesn't specialize in cancer, so she couldn't give me but so much details. So she's like, well, it could be chemo, radiology, surgery. It could be one, it could be two, it could be all three. She's like, well, do you want any more kids? And I'm like, well, yeah, I want a daughter. But if it comes down to my health, I'm fine with my two kids, and I'm just going to rock out like that. So cool. Anywho, fast forward, you know, of course, I'm stressed out. I'm telling my family, my friends, my support system. And um, today is April 21st. I had my appointment. And I'm a little relieved. It's My husband was like, well, do you think they misdiagnosed her? He was like, she was like, no. It's invasive um, cervical cancer. Basically, there's no misdiagnosing that. <laughs> so, um, go in. She does... Um, a pelvic exam. She feels the lesion. She's like, yeah, it's like three centimeters. It's not the biggest um, I've seen, but she basically she feels it. So she recommends I get a PET scan. Um, not 100% sure what a PET scan is. Somebody do some more research when I post this video. I will, um, in the description or over here, I'll probably do like, just like a little definition or something. Um, so I do that. April 30th. Mind you, this is the 21st. So I'll do that April 30th. It's a Saturday. It's a three-hour procedure. I got to be there at 7.30 in the morning. Um, and then after that, I go back to her on May 5th, which is my baby's birthday, for the results and treatment plan. Um, so I'm just going to bring you guys along this journey. Um, this will probably be the first video I post. Not now, but most likely when I'm completely, when I like beat this thing and like cancer is completely gone i'll post this video um but yeah just not come on this journey with me because when i post this the journey will be over unless i find the courage to when i post this video <laughs> my journey will be over but anywho um we definitely need to talk more about HPV because HPV is definitely something that causes cervical cancer and so many women suffer in silence and I definitely want to bring awareness to HPV like you know the prevention that they have and this can happen to anybody so I definitely want to bring awareness to cervical cancer HPV and I don't know Maybe I have to post this before if I want to bring awareness to it and kind of be a voice. Anywho, I don't dis decide those details at a later date. But anywho, um, I don't want to say come on this journey with me, but come on this journey with me, I guess. Who knows? I might post it. Anywho, thanks for watching. I'm sorry it's so long because I try to keep everything under 10 minutes, which I think I did. But come on this journey and keep me in prayers and my family, of course, in your prayers. Peace out.